Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. ADA is probably still extending in its third wave. The third wave here in white reached already the 1.786 extension. We see a bit of a pullback right now, but there's no evidence that really a larger top is in. So I've made a small adjustment today to the to the chart. So far we haven't had any yeah, strong confirmation that a top is in place. We haven't had any invalidation or anything, no. Um, as long as it's a three wave move up, however, there is still a significant risk that this is just an ABC structure and could just fail again, right? In, in one more extension here of wave two to the downside. So that's why we're tracking these microstructures and the parameters. Um, we need that five wave move and I'm adjusting the relevant support levels along the way. They have been holding since we put that um, local low in place here in this smaller degree wave two on the 8th of July. So we have this initial one, two setup, and then the third wave is likely still extending. Uh, it reached already ideal targets for the third wave. It's not overextended. It's not unusually extended. We know that third waves, when they really kick off, they can easily get to the 1.786 uh, extension, maybe even 200%, 2.382. No, you know, and then we talk about 46, 49 cents, not, not unusual. Um, I've tried to really do a deep dive into the microstructure within this wave three that started on, I think it was Monday when the price made a higher low here. And I mean, for me, it actually counts best with one more high in this third wave before a fourth wave starts. And then we can get still one more high in wave five. Um, that means that even with one more high, which could complete the larger third wave, we only have three waves up, but because the three, the third wave is strong enough and has reached ideal targets already, I would consider it a viable third wave. Well, that means, um, that means that we can definitely watch for wave four support. So if a larger pullback occurs, there are some par parameters we can watch for support. And as long as they hold one more high could happen in this fifth wave. If you're wondering why those five waves up um, are, are so important, then let's take a look at our Discord server. Um, here we have an explanation of all the different Elliott wave patterns. So if you decide to become maybe silver member or gold member, you can get access to our Discord server with updates. And there are a lot of explanations about the Elliott wave structures, but I wanted to show you here the impulse structure. And okay, ADA might actually be a diagonal. It might be an impulse not entirely clear on this small scale, but um, this is just how markets move. You know, I, I just asked a question. If you're wondering how or why we're looking for the five waves, this is the definition of a trend, basically an impulse. Um, this is the pattern that we need to see to have some clarity that the trend is actually up. So we have the initial wave one. Okay, we've seen that. Wave two low was the 8th of uh, July low. The third wave is still unfolding and we could just be here in wave four of the third wave. Then we should get another four and another five. Well, and then you can say, okay, but then we've reached the top. Well, correct. But then I have a confirmation that the trend has moved from a downtrend back into an uptrend. Bear in mind, confirmation is not certainty. But the important thing is that this five, fifth wave then, or this five wave move should then get corrected, which means we should see a corrective pullback. Um, not sure if I find that now. Okay, don't worry. But yeah, we should see, we should see that one more try. Anyway, this is one of these pullbacks, like an ABC correction, right? Can take different forms, different shapes and sizes. So we would then get this ABC pullback, not breaking below the 5th of July low. At least that would be the, the thesis. So we would hold above it. Essentially, this is that five wave move I've just shown you. One, two, three, four, five, and then A, B, C to the downside, forming a higher low. Um, also important on this chart, so basically that's interesting for traders, right? So if you get these five waves up, yeah, you can only confirm it once this five wave move is completed, right? Because if, if, if you confirm it further before, it's only a three wave move and can e easily break. But uh, still, obviously the boxes can be used for trading. But more importantly, that after these five waves, we have confirmation. So we have probabilities on our side. If we look for long positions, the only thing is that after five waves, the reward to risk ratio isn't that great. Good news is this should then be corrected. 
which creates a better reward to risk ratio. And then the next move up again in five waves should follow. So that's how it typically works. Um, obviously in, in the real world, these patterns are sometimes a bit more distorted. And if you look at the micro support area here, so it's between 39.9 and 42.3 cents. As long as we're holding it, I consider this as a fourth wave in a larger third wave breaking below 39.9 cents could indicate we're already in the larger fourth wave. In addition, we were watching these trend lines. The first one broke, we reached the second trend line. This is acting as resistance, breaking above this trend line could send us up to 49.2 cents roughly. That's my update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.